Hi, I'm Anna Olson, and this is Travel Tastes. In this series, I want to share a snapshot of our delicious travels through Turkey, specifically along the sunny Aegean coast. Our first stop was in Bodrum, a beautiful seaside city right on the Aegean. This place has incredible history and amazing architecture. You know, you really can get lost in the millennia of history that this region has to offer. I may be accustomed to hosting and teaching cooking classes, but when visiting Bodrum for the first time, I took a cooking class at a place called Fudrum with chef and owner Pelin Dumanli, and she was so welcoming. Join me in learning what might be a typical meal at home if you lived along the Aegean coast of Turkey. Well, I am so thrilled to be here at Fudrum. Pelin, what are we doing? Today we're gonna start with the eggplants. Mm -hmm. We're gonna uh, make a meze with tahini, sesame seeds, some garlic in it. And then we move on a choban salad, shepherd salad, and sea bass. Okay, so this would be a typical yes. Turkish meal? Yes, typical Asian Turkish meal. I Asian <laughs> Turkish meal, okay. Well, let's get right to it. Of course. Now, the first thing, let me give you some knives to you. Yes, please, put me to work. I want you to... gonna place them over here it's like a charcoaling okay we so will turn and turn while we are cooking it and charring the outside and softening the inside yes. cooking it yes. fully okay. it will take about 10 minutes all right and you would do this every day every day yes. okay because it is delicious it deserves well I've had quite a few meze starters and I always order an eggplant dish and yeah the eggplant is so sweet yes and this is going to add a smoky flavor to the yes. eggplant, isn't it? Yes. So I think we can also start to cut our yes. salad okay. ingredients. So those are for the shepherd salad. Mm -hmm. And what is the Turkish name for the shepherd salad? Çoban salata. Çoban salata. Ch Çoban salata. Yes. Okay. So my technique is starting with the onion mm -hmm. because I squeeze a lemon and uh, with, a, with a, uh, some salt. I'm gonna squeeze it with mm -hmm. my hands, so the acid in the onion will die, and our salad will be more, you know, sugary and very, ah. very, very good texture. That is a fantastic yeah. secret, Palin, because <laughs> I've had the shepherd salad probably every meal, practically, mm -hmm. and I don't taste that raw onion flavor. It doesn't r stay with From you. From now on, you can do this. Now I know. <laughs> Thank you. Put our eggplants. I think this is ready. This one's smaller, so I think it's mm -hmm. ready. Yes. Okay. So, here. And you just let that sit to yes, cool to room temperature. Yes, for 10 minutes or 15 minutes okay. or whole day. So, here's our lemon juice inside. Mm -hmm. so this is a onion. I prefer the red onion. So, I just cut the onion like this. Shepherd salad or for our choban salad. And they go here. And this becomes the dressing for the salad too. Yes. yes. Okay. So onions first. I always put the onions in last. Now I know. Always do this. Leave me. It's, it's a secret. And salt. Mm -hmm. This salt will be enough for whole, all whole salads. Okay. okay. Don't put it too much. Don't put it less. So, with my hand, I'm going to squeeze them. So, from the acid of the lemon juice and salt, mm -hmm. they are ready to eat. Okay, right now. Yes. That's it. Yes, that's it. You can feel. You can. Well, and immediately <laughs> the onions have changed from white to translucent. Yes. So, it also, doesn't take long. It's very, very... Um, soft right now. Mm -hmm. It is. Feel. Instantly. Yes. And easy to eat. Is, okay. <laughs> and everything goes in. Mm -hmm. You don't seed mm -hmm. the cucumbers. It can be medium sized uh, chunks or cubes. Okay. The only ingredient we left 
is my gorgeous olive oil. <laughs> and you say your olive oil. Yes, this is your... This is my olive oil. So you have an olive grove. grove. So you, no, yes, with the spoon. This is early harvest. Mm -hmm. And focus. So you can feel, you can... Uh, just, just you can feel the all the olive taste and the green grass. I get the green uh, grass, and it's but it's not overly peppery. You yeah. know how some olive oils are just so strong and they almost go up your nose. The acid is like uh, zero point mm -hmm. one, so it is okay. no acidic. It's very smooth. Yeah. Be generous when you pour olive oil. Do you do this last minute though? The olive oil at the end, right uh, before you're serving. I think yes. Maybe the, the last thing you, okay. should, you should put, but we are going to directly eat it, so it's okay. Yeah, but normally you don't make this ahead of time. You make this yes. right before. Yes, yeah. but the onion trick mm -hmm. that I show you, it is the must, and yeah. it should be at first stage. Okay. So the salad is ready. I've noticed every shepherd salad I have has that juiciness to it. Look at all those juices. What am I going to do? I'm going to take one here. Mm -hmm. And just peel it. I want you to very little small small pieces like mesh. We can put here mm -hmm. inside. Oh, beautiful. Very fresh. <laughs> Thank you so much. My pleasure. So we have tahine over there. Mm -hmm. You can just roughly put some, like two tablespoons of it, small, so we can assume that two eggplants, two tablespoons of tahini. Okay, that's good to know. Mm -hmm. it's through. And one full tablespoon of strained uh, yogurt. yogurt. We're gonna start to, yes. And olive oil. One clove of flour. And normally we dip this meze with our bread. The mm -hmm. bread will be like pita bread, a regular bread. And the all the ingredients that we use in this, like tahini, sesame seeds, olive oil, eggplant, yogurt, they are in the same region, same local area. Mm. So this is a, I think, aging style. You know? Time for a fish? Yes. Let's do it. For fish. Okay. We have sea bream here, sea bass and sea bream. Uh, we are always using in our home kitchen. This is a sea bream and I'm, I will fillet it for you. Okay. So this is my technique. With a paper towel, dry this like blot. You know. What's the importance of blotting the surface? Because of uh, then it, it will cook like a grill way. If there are some you know water inside, mm -hmm. the juice comes out and the fish is, will be no delicious because of the water. Okay, so for caramelization, yes. you don't want to steam the fish, yes. dry heat. So this is my way to hold it, triangle. I don't want this triangle onto the fillet, so. Okay, another reason why you want the dry fish so it's not yes. slippery. Yes, Here. Okay. And here. Right at the base of the tail. And with the fillet knife. So you're following the spine of the fish. Oops. It is ready. Beautiful. And this would be from the Aegean. Yes. That fresh. And so being warm water, it's a lean fish. Yes, it's an Aegean and Mediterranean fish. And there are no pin bones along the inside? It will. There are a I few at the base. Yes, here. Okay. So what I'm going to do also here I think one two three four five so with my knife so just over the top of the belly yes. this is okay 
And also here, one, two, three, four, yeah. with a, you know, oops. We eat lots of salmon at home yeah. and you have to yeah. pull out the pin bones. Quick. So we can heat up our frying pan. Okay. The middle mm. is only working with the lighter. Okay. The other ones. <laughs> It's always the case. It's like a home stove. There's always one burner that acts up. And there's always one burner that's your favorite, too. Yes. A little bit of olive oil. Just on the skin side. Yes. OK. Yeah. The skin side down, like this. And like this. So, um, we will observe that the, this area of the fish mm -hmm. will turn white. As soon as we observe this, we will transfer this pan into the oven. Okay, so just the, you're just looking yes. for around the belly. Yes. That, and oh, what temperature is your oven heated to? 180 up to 200 Celsius degree. Yes. So 350 to yes. 400. You can see white. Skin. Yes, yes, I can. Okay. So, more salt. Just a little bit of olive oil, not so much. Just a little bit. This is okay. So now, would a home cook cook their fish this method with the stove in the oven, or is that because uh, I learned that in technique. yeah, I learned this that in restaurants technique. too. So it's more <laughs> applying a restaurant technique yes. to the home kitchen. Yes. So, it goes. Okay. We will wait about five minutes. Okay. Or four minutes, then we're ready. Oh, beautiful. It's been incredible to learn some of these key parts of Aegean cooking. Not just Turkish cooking, Aegean cooking, to appreciate what a home cook eats, and now I'm confident I can replicate it and feel healthy at the same time. <laughs> I feel so happy to hear those words from you, and thank you to you uh, for having me in this show. I'm, I'm, I'm so emotional right now, still, <laughs> and I, I feel so uh, amazing. Thank you, so, thank you to you. A pleasure. <laughs> Honestly, this food is just fantastic. Depth of flavor, the freshness comes through. This is Bodrum on the table.